Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to talk to you all about five things I love about Christmas and five things I hate. As I just mentioned today I want to talk to you all about five things I love about Christmas and five things I hate. Now hate is a very strong word so there are some things I really don't like about Christmas but there are also some things I really love and this is just my opinion on Christmas overall and there are a few things I probably just want to get off my chest as well so I thought I'd share these opinions with you today. So the first thing I love about Christmas is the build up to Christmas. I really love it when people start to get really festive. I love to see lights going on in high streets. I love decorating our tree. I love all that sort of thing. I just love getting ready for Christmas. I like going out and buying the presents. But what I don't like is the fact that the shops and the radio seem to start this in November. So you'll turn on the radio at probably about the 20th November November and Christmas songs have already started. I went into Next recently, no not recently, in November and they were playing Christmas songs in there already and I remember saying to one of the sales assistants, do you have to put this on at this time, it's still November and she was like, I came in the other day and they were playing it, it's the first time, I was like, oh god. Um, so yes, I do love the build up but I don't like the fact it starts in November. The second thing I love about Christmas is the food. I love most of the food. I'm not a fan of Brussels sprouts, but I will eat them if they're served to me. We probably won't be having them on Christmas day ourselves. But yes, I do, I love everything about Christmas. I love the fact we eat turkey. I love the fact that we have Christmas pudding and, and mince pies. I love all of that. But what I don't like is the fact that everybody always goes a bit over the top, myself included. And then you find there's always a bit of waste from Christmas, or in some cases, a lot of waste. I don't like the waste part of Christmas. I do find that hard to come to terms with. And I always try to use up the leftovers that we have now. But I know some people just chuck it in the bin, and that really upsets me. But yes, I love the food, but I hate the waste. The next thing I love about Christmas is the music. Um, I love all of the Christmas music. I I love like things like rocking around the Christmas tree. I love hymns as well that they we sing in church on Christmas. Um, I love Joy to the World. I love Mariah Carey's song. I think all of that is brilliant and I think it gives us a real festive feel as well when mu Christmas music is played. But again, what I don't like is, and this goes back to my first point, is the fact that it's played in November. So we kind of start Christmas about six weeks before it actually does begin. Um, I lived in Australia quite a few years ago and I was there over a Christmas period as well and Christmas in Australia, I was in Sydney at the time and it literally started on Christmas Eve. It didn't start before, it didn't start, you know, it just started on Christmas Eve. Um, they started playing songs on the radio on Christmas Eve and they went on for about a week and then they stopped. I suppose in Australia it's a lot different though because they have some there so you've got more things to do outside so you don't think about Christmas as much whereas here it's very bleak so it gives us something to do here to think about doesn't it really but yes I don't I love Christmas music I just wish it would start a bit further into December and not November so the next thing I love about Christmas is giving and receiving presents. I love to give gifts. Nowadays I like to make my own presents. So I like to make things like homemade biscuits or chocolates or cake. Um, these all seem to go down really well when I give these to my family and friends. Um, I also like to buy things I think that people would like as well. What I don't like is when we we, we are a bit guilty of this as well, is when we spend a little bit too much. I tend to go a bit overboard on my son's head at Christmas and I, f I feel a bit guilty after I've done it as well. I do love to see his little face, but I do think some of the time I've bought too much because half of the presents don't end up getting played with or used either. And I do think I have tried to cut back this year on some of the gifts that I've bought him. And also he only wanted a 
tablet for Christmas as well. So that was quite an easy present. And we said to him, as it's such an expensive gift, um, that will be your main present. And then you'll get a few other little bits. And he was fine with that because that's all he wants. So that was good. But yes, I do enjoy giving and receiving gifts. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't like it when we all tend to overspend. And the final thing I love about Christmas is the adverts. Um, I love the M&S advert. I love the John Lewis advert. They do make me chuckle and they do make me feel really Christmassy. But what I don't like is the fact that these adverts can sometimes make us feel like we have to have this ideal Christmas. So this year in our house, there will be my mum, my husband Howard, my son Ted and myself and that's it but when you see adverts on television like the Iceland advert you tend to have to have a lot of people around your dinner table and it's like I don't know that many people to invite them and that can make me feel a bit you know like we're not having the ideal television Christmas um, so yes I love the adverts but I don't like the way they make us feel like we have to have ideal Christmases and also no one ever really speaks about it but there will be people who will spend Christmas Day alone this year as well maybe they don't like to celebrate it and that's what they want to do and that's okay but there will be some people who don't have any family or any relatives and there will also be those people who are missing missing family and friends due to death or they're overseas or whatever and that's really sad as well and I think we need to talk about that more in society but yes again I love the adverts but sometimes I don't like the way they make us feel so that was the five things I love about Christmas and the five things I hate and I would love to know what you love and hate about Christmas let me know in the comments below and if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if if you haven't already then don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye